you can kind of see it directly in front of the camera right now. We're going to be opening up the new Stellar Crown booster box. 36 booster packs. Beautiful booster box. Beautiful set with a lot of amazing cards. We've already opened up an ETB. We pulled a full art and an illustration rare from that. I opened up two three-pack glitchers. We pulled an SIR and an illustration rare from that. So we're hoping we can continue our hot streak with the booster box today. I will also be opening up on camera 36 sleeve booster packs and seeing if we can get anything great from those as well. Uh, I'm going to kind of make two, the two videos a competition. Let's see which product gives us better pull rates. A sealed booster box or 36 sleeve boosters. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and cut into this now and get straight into it. Have it uh, by the way, guys. I gotta ask, has anybody opened up Stellar Crown yet? Outside of the pre-release, have you opened up any of the new products? If so, comment down below, what have your pulls been like? Have they been good? Have they been bad? Have you pulled the new uh, Kanto Starter Illustration Rares? I know those are really hot cards. Or if not the Kanto Starters, have you pulled one of the new Illustration Rares, especially that beautiful Lacey card? That is my personal chase at the moment. I pulled the only SIR Pokemon cards I would want from the set, which is Hydrapple and Galvantula. Hydrapple I have in Japanese, and because I'm not a master set collector, I personally prefer to just collect the card however I can. So, with that being said, we're going to open up this booster box and we're going to see if we can get anything fire out of it. So we're starting off with a reverse Iron Boulder. This is not a bad card at all in terms of the artwork. Really cool card. Then we're going to go Bombardier, followed by a Ladian. Ladian is one of the illustration rares I'm hoping to pull today. I have not pulled that one in Japanese. Obviously, the Kanto starters are one of those illustration rares. Uh, the Area Zero Gold card is a chase of mine. I think that card looks stunning. So we're hoping to pull one of these amazing cards today. See what we can get. Ooh, we got a Grand Tree. I think this is going to be one of the better A specs in the set. I believe this card is playable. It reads, once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for a stage one Pokemon that evolves from one of their basic Pokemon and put on that Pokemon to evolve it. If that Pokemon was evolved in this way, that player may search their deck for a stage two Pokemon that evolves from that Pokemon and put it onto the Pokemon to evolve it. Then that player shuffles their decks. Players can't evolve a basic Pokemon during their first turn or a basic Pokemon that was put into play this turn. So not a bad card at all. Got a reverse Crispin. Which says, search your deck for two basic energy cards of different types, reveal them, and put a one in, them, a one in your hand and one on a Pokemon. And then an Iron Boulder again. So, I don't collect A specs. They're definitely playable cards. So we definitely going to put that in a nice penny sleeve. Definitely a great start off to our box. So let's see if our next pack can contain something. So, so far, when it comes to playable trainers, I haven't came across one that outright screams like earth and vessel level of power. But there are some solid trainers in here. A beautiful so so drift limb. We got Rhyperior. Nice to see Rhyperior back in the hobby. Clang. And a Noctowl. Which uh the promo for that Noctowl is in the Elite Trainer box. So if you're looking for a beautiful, uh beautiful illustration rare Noctowl, it is definitely worth it to uh pick up the ETB. Beautiful card. You got Joltik. Ooh, that is a beautiful artwork for Jirachi. I'm a big fan of the, uh, I'm going to call them the baby legendaries. Jirachi, Mew, Celebi, Victini. There, some of them are mythical. Some of them are legendaries. But they're just so adorable. So we got Mo Rotom, Luminion, and a Hydrapple EX. I don't know where Hydrapple sits in terms of playability on the EXs. I know some of the, um, uh, the stellar EXs right now are getting a lot of hype, but I don't know where Hydrapple sits in the grand scheme of things in terms of like the EXs that are playable versus non-playable. I would love a set where every EX was playable, but I've already gotten uh, Gar uh, Garganackle and Garganackle 100% is not playable. Once again, weird to see legendaries as an uncommon. Payapa? Low King Reverse, Duraludon, and Archaladon, who's got a beautiful uh, SIR in the upcoming set. I know that's probably a hot take because I've seen a lot of the comments online, people hating on that card, but I love it. A Turtonator from Akira Gala. 
Halasi, Personal Chase, Phalanx, Swalot, and Cradilly. We are 100% not hitting anything good in this box yet. I feel like our back half is 100% about to be a banger though. Joltik, Turtonator, Tornadus, Kofu, Toad Scroll, Meltan, and Zara Aura. All right, let's see. Rhyhorn, Ponyta, Grubbin, Varum, Belooza, Briar, Electivire, Little, and Electabuzz, followed by, ooh, Terrapagos. I wanna say he's playable. I haven't seen too many people talk about him, but I like what both of his attacks do. I like to believe that Terrapagos can be playable. Um, I believe a lot of people believe out of the four Pokemon SIRs, Terrapago is going to be the chase. Um, he definitely would have got surpassed if Lapras or uh, Cinderace would have gotten a lovely SIR in the set. Beautiful Celebi going back to those baby legendaries. We got Eldegoss, Azumarill, and Al Creamy. All right. Let's see. Drifloon, Clink, Hooters, Impidimp, which is a Tomokazu Kumiya card, by the way. One of my favorite artists. Fanseer. Did we really hit another SIR? Holy shit. Let's take our Grimstar off and let's see what we hit. It's definitely a Pokemon. I really hope it's Terrapagos or uh, Dashbun. Let's see. Oh, it's a Hydrapple EX. That is stunning. My goodness. Let's go ahead and sleeve that beauty up. My very first box of Stellar Miracle had a Hydrapple. My very first box of Stellar Crown had a Hydrapple. Stunning. There we go, baby. Boom. There we go. All right. So we got Hydrapple. Booster box is coming in clutch. Let's see. Ponyta. I wonder now if it's a possibility to get a double SIR box. Oh, Metatite. That's our first duplicate of the day. So, for those watching, since this is a duplicate, comment down below what your favorite hit from this booster box is today. And one lucky person commenting will get that Metatite. That's our first duplicate from the set that's not a Garganacle EX, and I won't send that to anybody because I don't want anybody feeling like I hate them. Ooh, a very nice looking Tauros. Paldean Tauros is a beautiful card from Paldea Evolved. So, let's see. Blastoise EX. Nice, beautiful EX card. Drifloon, Hoot Hoot, Impidimp, Tauros, Lacey, Diancie, or Akaberry, not Orcaberry. All right, four more packs. And then we move on to the other side of the box. And so far, these, this box is fire. Ooh, absolutely stunning, Wulu. I really hope I get the reverse of that in this box. Need it for the personal collection. Me and Xiao. Hoot Hoot. Hirachi Reverse. Beautiful. And a Mel Metal. Booster packs ending up everywhere. Crab Brawler. Comfy. Toodle. Woohoo. Rabidash. Vicavolt. Belooza. Old School. Tortuga, nice. And Caracosta. Aw. That was nice. So if you guys don't know, my primary career is a teacher. I just got a message from one of my students telling me happy birthday in our uh, student teacher like communicator app. 
So that's nice. It is my birthday today as of the time recording. This is my birthday present to myself. We got Payapa Berry, Gerideon, Zara Aura, and Clean Clang. All right, so I always hope for more than 12 hits per box. 12 hits is my, what I call your average. What's up, baby? All right, so last side of the box. Let's see what we can get. Come on, big hitter. And no hitter, but a beautiful slowpoke. So apologies for the cuts. Um, family came. Uh, Y'all might have heard knocking in the background. My niece, toddler, like two years old. She was knocking at my door to get my attention. They were coming by to tell me happy birthday. So... We're going to move on to the left side of the box now. Just a quick look at the right side. We hit our six hits, and I think we hit some of our best possible hits possible. But we only have two textured hits. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Era booster boxes roughly are four textured hits a box. Now, that's not guaranteed. I've had boxes where I've gotten three textured hits. I've had boxes where I've gotten six. So... It could be all over the place, but there's a sparkling crystal. So I'm hoping that doesn't uh, count. I really didn't want two A specs. I'm not trying to be greedy, but seeing multiple pink cards when there's great full arts in this set that I would love to have and a beautiful gold card I would really love to have um, is really disappointing. But I think we truly can get something great in this pack right here. Knocked out hollow. Hey, that's good. I'm not a hollow hater. Uh, hashtag no hollow hate here. I don't hate on hollows. Actually, I collect a lot of hollows. Like anytime a hollow's got a beautiful artwork, I put it in my, um, I call it my low value binder. Just a bunch of beautiful cards with beautiful artworks that um, are all considered bulk by most. But I have a whole vault X binder and when that full, I'm gonna get another vault X binder and I'm gonna keep filling them up. It's just cool cards for a cool person like me. Got a beautiful rush ram. Man, where are my illustration rares? Like I got the SIR. I got the IR Metatite. We need at least two more illustration rares. That's what I'm really hunting because I really want fucking reboot. Excuse the language. Those of you that are uh, kids, I apologize that that was a slip of a tongue. But I have been hunting that rat boot for, this is booster box number six or seven now. We got Meta Jam. Okay. By the way, a lot of these bulky Xs, guys, um, if you haven't caught my streams, we rolled the dice to give away one of these um, six cards in the back. Bulky Xs like Meta Jam go in there, typically, um, because... I don't collect regular EXs usually. I don't like the artist. So for those of you that collect Pokemon cards that like to collect everything, my streams probably give away some cards that you might want to add to your collection. So make sure you stop by the stream, say hi, and exclamation point raffle anytime we do a stream. I stream once every two weeks now. I used to stream weekly, but career, takes priority i do make videos that go up weekly especially short so you can subscribe to the youtube channel and catch those as well come on big hit briar reverse and a grum song so it definitely feels like at least with this box all of our good stuff is at the back side of the box but how good is that stuff at the back side of the box Still to be seen. Ooh, Lapras. This is one I actually really, really think the attack is interesting. So let me put a sleeve on it, but it's called Laramar Rain. Look at the top 20 cards of your deck and attach any number of energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Shuffle the other cards back in your deck. The thing is, is that attack doesn't say basic energies. So my assumption, unless there's some kind of errata I don't know about, or unless there's some kind of like text ruling I don't know about is that means special energies too 
That's insane. That means that simple Lapras, if you can load up that Lapras quickly, can absolutely make your Pokemon stocked within like the first couple of turns of the game. And it can absolutely put things in your favor. So insane card. Will it see a lot of competitive play? I don't know. Especially with the energy combination. I don't know how that energy combination will work. I know there's some special energies that can help mitigate the water and psychic combination, but who knows? I'm curious to see if Lapras has made the work because I think that attack is insane. And it's a basic as well. Like it's not an evolution Pokemon, so that makes it even crazier if you think about it, right? Like you, it's crazy to think about how insane that is. Flim, Kofu, and Dreadnought. So we only got two hits on this side, I think. Lapras and the uh, Sparkling Crystal. We got roughly six to seven packs left. We definitely are going to, in my opinion, we have to have like a string of cards coming up right now. Like we're going to have to hit a few back-to-back -back bangers uh, right after another. Like Greninja. Greninja EX. One attack. Shifting Shuriken, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 100 more. 100% is never seen play. That's one of those cards that's like, why did Pokemon even bother? Like, it makes no sense when you already have a Greninja that is ex existent, that is way better. The Greninja, uh, the Greninja EX from Twilight Masquerade, so much more playable. Wow. We got five packs left. And at this rate, more than half of these packs should have hits because we are definitely not getting anything from this half of the box. So we should see some big hits coming up or at least something of the sort. Like the lady and that is nice. I will take that. That is a personal chase of mine. That is one of the cards I wanted to add to the collection. Beautiful card. Definitely going to deserve that. I am going to move this box out of the way so that way we can open up these last four packs. Let's see if we can get something good out of the last four booster packs. So land it. Your mask. Pans here. Carnivine. Payapa Berry. Tornadus. Kofu. Ooh, Falant. Charcadet. That is actually a really sick artwork. And a clean clang. Three packs left. I'm expecting at least two out of three of these packs to have fire. It looks like we might have fire. We'll have to wait and see, but it looks like we might have fire at the back there. It'd be cool if it was another SIR, but I'm predicting full art. Orthworm EX. Oh, that is a, uh, that is a full art, all right. <laughs> That is definitely not one full art I would love to see. I really don't like Orthworm as a Pokemon. I don't like its illustration rare. I don't like the Pokemon itself. Definitely a Pokemon I didn't want to see. I know I'm sounding like I'm being an ungrateful little bitch because I pulled the Hydrapple, but everybody has that one Pokemon they don't like, right? And Orthworm's mine. And Raging Bolt. All right, so. I'm really hoping that we have a third illustration rare in this last pack. Would love to get one more. Two illustration rares feels like I kind of got gypped. Or maybe another textured hit, another full art. Because two, um, two A specs taking those textured spots kind of uh, stinky dinky. Unfortunately, no illustration rare and no full art. Wow. So. Just a quick recap of what we pulled. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them in order so that way we can get a count, okay? Alright, so a quick recap of everything we pulled today. We got four regular EXs, Metachem, Blastoise, Hydrapple, and Greninja. Don't know if any of these are too, uh, truly playable. I know Greninja will not be, but I don't know where Blastoise, Hydrapple, and Metachamp sit. 
We did pull two EXs, the Stellars, Chirapagos and Lapras. Both of these do seem playable. And then we pulled two illustration rares, Meta Titan Ladian. Definitely not the illustration rares we really wanted to see. Um, I've already pulled this. That's the only reason why I wouldn't want to see it. I love the artwork. I think it's a great card. But I just wanted something different. Now, I'm not trying to be like stingy or greedy. Just wanted something different. Two A specs. I hate this. I really do. I hate I hate that boxes can have two. These should be a strict one per box thing, especially when they take up a, uh, a textured spot. Because had this not been an SIR, let's say this was a full art hydrapel, this would have been a terrible booster box, right? The only reason why this booster box was saved is because of this and because of the two amazing illustration rares we pulled. So for me personally, I gotta say, I'm curious to see how other booster boxes break down. I'll be opening up a case of booster boxes on stream next Friday, um, as well as uh, uh, three booster boxes worth of sleeve boosters, as well as some other product as well. 100%. Um, if these uh, booster boxes are about this average, I could definitely see us having a booster box out of that case that is just absolutely bad. And I hope that's not the case. I hope every booster box has something redeeming in it to make it fun to open. But with that being said, I actually think we did pretty good for this booster box and I'm not gonna hold too much to it. It is always a Pokemon booster box. The luck, the ratios, all that stuff is based on luck. And with that being said, I think we were very lucky today. Once again, this is my second SIR out of two three pack blisters, an ETB and one booster box. And I'm hoping that when we do the video where we open up 36 sleeve booster packs that we have the same luck. I'm really hoping that we get one more SIR from those uh, packs because that means we would pull three SIRs and under three booster boxes. And that is just insane ratios for modern day Pokemon SIR pull ratios because they're no longer like one per box kind of guaranteed type of situation like we've seen with Scarlet and Violet up to uh, Obsidian Flames where we kind of just Anytime you bought a box, you were almost guaranteed an SIR. And if you were lucky, you got two. And nowadays, we don't see those ratios as much. And it becomes a little bit harder to pull them. So whenever you open up a box now, you kind of just hope that the box is going to give you something that really makes you feel like you pulled something worth your value. Because boxes still cost anywhere from a $89.99 to like $120 on release, depending on where you can find them, if you find any coupon deals or uh, affiliate codes that you can use, that sort of thing. So with that being said, I'm gonna give the booster box itself a seven out of 10. That is just kind of your basic rating for any booster box, because once again, they're kind of luck based and they are pretty expensive. Then unless you can find a good deal, odds are you're never gonna make your money back. So it is whether or not you just wanna open up some cards for fun. And I think booster boxes, if you were trying to open up as many packs as possible, are the way to go because you get the best pack per um, per dollar value out of any products you buy, especially when you're not buying like MSRP at $161. When you buy these boxes at $105, $110, $99 or whatever price you can find them at, usually you're paying three something a pack and that's a pretty good value. So for me personally, I think this product is a seven out of 10. I think the set's a 10 out of 10, I love the set. But booster boxes themselves, they just have that factor where you can end up with just with a really bad booster box and you feel like you kind of got scammed. And it's not the case, it's not a scam. I know scam is a terrible word to use, but it's just, you can open up a booster box and absolutely feel like you never got your money's worth. So with that being said, guys, let me know down in the comment section below what, uh, the blue, below what you think about the product that we opened up today do you think stellar crown's a good set a bad set do you think booster boxes are worth their money do you think they're worth them msrp do you think if you uh, the booster boxes had to be sold at 161 dollars do you think that would be worth the value or do you think that the booster box should be sitting at that 100 to 110 dollar value and with that being said guys make sure you check out the upcoming video with the 36 sleeve boosters and let me know down in the comment section below on that video which of these products had better pull rates once again i think we had 12 hits in total yeah we had 12 hits in total three six nine twelve so one per every three booster packs which is once again your average so let me know if we beat sleep boosters our sleep boosters were better uh, if you guys don't know sleep boosters are a massive gamble they're always a gamble product they can either be super fire or they can be super dookie with that being said guys i'll catch you on the next video peace